What's going on, everybody? You know what time it is. It's the LA Minute with your man Sabir. What happened today? Well, I know by now everybody probably saw my um my Facebook page. And um actually we got I'm gonna actually give a shout out to Tyrese Gibson. You all don't know, it's the actor. You know what I mean? Actor singer. Actually, I can relate to kind of sort of what this brother just went through. I'm just actually reading the LA Watch Times. And actually in here was an article talking about um, the brother was booted off a radio station for talking about too many liquor stores in the hood across the street from school. And they say he was condescending, talking about this brother was trying to um, be a politician when there is a responsibility for all of us actually to speak out against these things. But you see what happens when you speak out. So they kicked the brother off um, during a um, break. Now, I can relate to that a lot because I done did radio back east and I'm not giving no shout outs to no radio station because I don't like none of those spineless cowards. I would never give a shout out to any of these cats. You know what I mean? So, listen, he got kicked out. You know what I mean? I can relate to that. I did radio back east. They didn't like what I was saying because what I was bringing to the people, trying to inform them what was happening. Only one particular radio station, which was so-called black-owned, that really was trying to get me out, but I walked out. See, you're not going to kick me out, but I'm going to walk out. But I have to tell the truth. So what the brother was saying, which was actually facts, why is it a, a liquor store? Of course, see, from a school. Think about it from a liquor store. And you know, and you got a lot of these spineless cats that's actually radio hosts and program director that's not even, you know, they don't, they know what's wrong. They keep talking about the crime. They keep talking about all the stuff that's happening in the community, so-called community. But yet, when push come to shove, you're not really putting the right music on there. You're not getting the right conversations on there so people can actually say, wait a minute, let me look at this for a minute. If you look at what's happening now with the black, um, with the Wall Street thing, actually the blackout in the media. And y'all still put y'all trust in that? Listen, man, people, we are in the information age. So I have to say, I get, I, you know, I'm with you, Tyrese, man. You know, keep speaking up. We need more brothers like him to speak up that's in the limelight. And I'm going to tell you, just for me traveling and, and actually me doing radio, because I used to take this type of stuff back to the radio stations and talk about the ills that was in our neighborhoods. I don't want to say communities, because if we really had communities, no matter what zoning somebody had, they would have to come through us first and ask us. First and foremost, you know, what do y'all want in y'all community? Community means common unity. We have neighborhoods. This is why they run amok. So, in the article, it was talking about, well, these liquor stores been here. You know what I mean? The, the parents is not complaining. Well, the parents don't know better. You know what I mean? But they said the parents is not complaining. We have people that have licenses and zoning. Well, what I just found out that you only need, um, you have to, a certain amount of liquor stores in an area for a zoning. I want y'all to go take a survey, go to a so-called white neighborhood, then go to our neighborhoods and do a survey. You're going to see a liquor store, a church, a liquor store, a church, then a liquor store. I just left Detroit, saw that all up and down the strip. Now, the church's responsibility is actually they should be out there protesting, talking about these liquor stores. Not, you know what I mean? So it's not just entertainers or rappers or hip-hop artists. You know, to speak out against these things, it's our job to speak out against the injustice that's going on. But as long as you're selling the, 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 um, the poison to the people, listen, they're with it. As long as you're selling the poison, it's happening. Don't look for this guy named Henry, whatever this dude, what is it? Let me find this guy's name. And didn't, they, didn't they also threaten to um, not play oh, his music yeah. on their station? This is another thing. See, the thing is that I, what I love about it, because I used to do radio, and I was the type of person that if they would say they wasn't going to play his radio, his songs on that station, I would take it and play the rotation on my program because I was my own producer and my own host. So they said, well, we're not going to put your songs in rotation. Tyrese said, so what? He said, so? See, this is when you know a person is free to, you know, to do certain things. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he's 100% free, but he's free enough to say, look, so what? Do it. But it has to be said. But for them to threaten him and say that we're not going to play it until we apologize. And I doubt if he apologized. They're talking about he have to apologize. You know, but yet we depend on guys like this guy. I don't know who this cat is. Henry Kane running for um, president. This is crazy. Talking about people are brainwashed. What are you really, what is he really going to bring? What if Henry Kane is going to bring? I mean, I'm just looking at these so-called black leaders. They're not going to help you people. So, yo, listen, get on board. If y'all want to support me, please go to me at Sabir Bay 
dot no me at sabirbay.com and please support the real information. That's me at sabirbay.com. Check me out on Facebook, Sabir Bay. Always. This is the LA Minute with your man Sabir Bay. Yo, look it up. Tyrese get kicked off radio station for speaking his mind and telling the truth. We out. <laughs>